everybody, I am Hyper Chi from Proxy Table Gaming, and I return to you with another Warhol tutorial. This is the second in the series, and I'm hoping that this time we can get into a few of the extra buttons that are available to you in Warhol, and a few extra fun bits. So without any jibberjatta from me, because you know I do like it, I'm going to get straight into Warhol and start clicking on buttons. See you in a minute in Warhol. And here we are in Warhol. Graphics turned up to the maximum. And we are in a lovely grassland area with forest in the background, rocks and cliffs and all sorts going on. And we are ready to import an army into Warhol. And the way we're going to do it in this tutorial is we're going to do it using New Recruit, which is an online website which you can do to create your army lists for the Ninth Age. Um, I would say it's pretty popular, um, New Recruit at the moment, and the fact that it synchronizes with Warhol and makes your armies able to be ported into Warhol at the click of a few buttons is incredible. I think uh, anyone who's seen it has been amazed with it. It means that setting up your army in Warhol and getting ready to play a battle is very, very quick. Um, all you really have had to need to have done is to have set up your army list in New Recruit online. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to show you how I'm going to go and make that really easy. So I've loaded up Warhol and I have an open battlefield ready to go. Um, I'm literally going to click on my Windows button on my laptop, bring up my options, and click on Google Chrome, um, which is the internet um, browser that I currently use. Um, I have had instances where you cannot use New Recruit alongside Warhol with other internet browsers. Um, I can't remember which one it was that didn't work for me, but I can tell you that Google Chrome does work, and I've used that ever since. And as always, this is not a technical tutorial, so fingers crossed, it works for you, um, whatever browser you're using, and definitely get onto Google Chrome, free advertising for them, um, if you're struggling. So anyway, going to back to the main topic, which is that you need to have had your army list created in New Recruit. Um, this, you may recognize, is the army list that I used in a Warhol practice game with Matty C not long ago. Um, it was the uh, ogre list that got absolutely slaughtered 20 nil by Matty's vampires. And, uh, you know, why why not advertise it for another video on the channel? Because, hey, it was rubbish and it will never be used again. But it does give the opportunity to have a look at the lovely, most recently rendered army in the Ogre Kings. Ogre Khans, I should say. At least at the time of recording this tutorial. So, in the recruit, all I've got is my army. It is fully ready to go and created. It comes to a total of 4,500 of Ogre Badness. Uh, and all you have to do to get it imported into Warhol, simply, is click on your button to show it in this screen. So that is this button here. It's like a magnifying glass over a piece of paper. Left click on that, and it brings up your army in this simplified form. Then all you do is you press copy to clipboard and it says, new recruit.eu says, let's copy to clipboard. Great. So you can press OK on that. And then when you magically go back to Warhol, and all I'm going to do is press on the Warhol button at the bottom, and this is where it all possibly goes horribly wrong. Hey, we're back in Warhol. And look at that. That, that menu wasn't there before. Um, this is all live recording. You haven't seen me doing, I've done nothing off screen. List detected on clipboard. Do you want to load the list? Well, yes, I do want to load the list. I press on yes. And within a few seconds, my ogre army has loaded into Warhol. And wow, do they not look absolutely gorgeous. Yes, they do. And just have a little twirl. Um, trying to use the mouse rather than my mouse pad because I get in trouble for making noise. And yeah, so we've got Unit 5 Bombardiers, Scratterpult, looking gorgeous, my three characters, my big Bruiser Star, Unit Tribesman, three Kin Eaters, three Sabertooth Tigers, 
and another unit of bombardiers. And they will spawn exactly how you have set them in new recruit, which is awesome. And that literally took seconds. So I did not have to uh I did not have to do anything at all in order to in order to make you know make make my uh, army on wall, which is great. And uh this is actually a new feature, which um is pretty cool um in one of the most recent updates in Warhol is that um because I've set um pyromancy as my um my attribute. I'm not sure why oh okay, it's giving me a distance between yeah, sorry. Um it actually comes up with the uh, pyromancy spells. Which yeah, that's actually a new feature and one I wasn't wholly expecting when I um started this tutorial. So that's cool. Because my shaman um who is here has chosen pyromancy as his path. I now automatically get spawned the pyromancy spells. That's that's really cool. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised and impressed by that because I didn't expect that to happen. Nice and yeah, I'm literally ready to go. And uh, my opponent could do exactly the same thing and spawn an army of theirs from new recruit, and and we'd be ready to play. Um, obviously, there are a few other teething bits to get the game ready for a proper battle. But as I explained in my previous uh, tutorial, those are easily done with the quick start. Um, and I can literally choose any map. And straight away, I've got a Frontline Clash official map pack 11. Um, can flip the uh, deployment zones. Won't be possible with hold the ground. And yeah, now I am literally ready to go. And my units can be dragged into place for deployment. I can roll a few dice here and there. See which side I get. My opponent rolls. My opponent wins. Obviously, they always do. Um, and yeah, I'm ready to start the battle. And how how cool is that? How how quick was that in setting up my army? Now, the other way of setting up your army in in um, in Warhol is is somewhat more more long winded, but it is po very possible here to do this way. Is that you can create individual units now this is a the create button at the top here wasn't one that i explored in the last tutorial but it is definitely the feature of this tutorial and that is um, you can create a unit and you literally just say well my ogre khan army of 4500 that was fine and i made that in new recruit but i actually forgot that i had a frost mammoth as well just because you know so obviously I now want to add a frost mammoth into my army. So you'd be able to go to the create and create unit, change to ogre cards. The frost mammoth is a change beast. Frost mammoth, there it is. I only want one and one rank because that's logical for a frost mammoth. Um, is 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 possible to set it into loose formation or um, ranked formation? Create and it will appear exactly in the middle of my screen. And now, as well as that army that I uh, loaded up with new recruit, I've now managed to just add on a random frost mammoth. And wow, that looks gorgeous. I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to start playing frost mammoths, aren't I? Because that is a beautiful Warhol model, I have to say. Yeah, and that can be the case for any army. You don't have to stick to just the army you're playing, you know. If I just said, well, similarly to how I just randomly decided I wanted a frost mammoth, if I randomly decided that I also wanted a, let's see, a harbinger, no, no, let's make it something a bit more fun. A more of a can, yeah, obviously that, that totally fits with my ogre army. Uh, there he is, and it, the demons are not a fully rendered army, so this is very much a temporary model for demon legions. But still, he's, he's pretty feisty. And I've just added him to my ogre army. Uh, obviously, the opponent could be doing exactly the same thing. So you can really just have a mix match of whatever you like. You don't have to have only one army playing against each other. You can play it however you want to, uh, which is obviously a restriction that New Recruit wouldn't allow you to do. You wouldn't be able to um, have a random demon model alongside your ogre army. So this function to have the ability to add a unit into your Warhol game is very cool, uh, very useful. And yeah, that is as simple as it as it as it is really. You literally can just add them in. Um, there are features on. Let's go with uh, Empire, for example, Core, and uh, let's go Light Infantry. Um, 
obviously you have uh, other options with the infantry units and these are all linked to the army books which are updated on new recruit and in warhol you can have musician champion standard put them in loose formation you can change the ranks and the etc absolutely fine no issue create them and they always spawn where you're looking the center of where you're looking which is why i moved over here so they wouldn't spawn on top of my other models and yeah that is just formed just like that um there are some instances where units will auto spawn with certain weapons for example this unit of light infantry has got crossbows whereas in in the actual army book i might want them to have uh, handguns um, that that option is currently not in operation properly in warhol but that is a very small price to pay because that is obviously something that's being worked on um small issues like weapons etc are being focused on as a lesser priority than generally making the game playable and making it beautiful and it honestly it does look absolutely beautiful i mean let me just have a little uh let me have a little look see at these guys while we're here I mean, we've already seen these in some of the empire battles anyway but yeah they are cool and obviously they've got the musician model they've got a standard model and they've got a champion model indicated by the, the laurel leaf over the skulls and yeah that is that is how you create your units and your army on warhol um as always left click and drag to move them about and everything is um is mentioned in the in the log as well as the when you create um Units. So, for example, you can see there I created a Frost Mammoth, I created a Moravac Arm. It is loggable, so your opponent could see if you randomly just decided to, oh, I didn't have that on the board a minute ago, now I've got a Moravac Arm. <laughs> uh, yeah, that sort of thing. Um, I don't ever imagine that situation would occur, providing your opponent is a decent person. But yeah, we won't go down that line too far. Cool. So, let's just have a little bit more of an explore of the create function. Um, very much like when I randomly spawned this terrain, you could also create terrain however you like. Um, now these functions are somewhat in design. Um, so for example, um, black it indi indicates uh, impassable terrain at the moment. You've got green for forests, uh, light green for hill, uh, gray for ruins, blue for water, yellow for field, and a different kind of gray for walls. And you literally have just this the one option at the moment. Why have I just done that? There you go. Just spawned a field in the middle of the uh, terrain. Uh, that was via moving my saber tooth tiger. Oops. Um, I've also currently got um, terrain locked at the moment, which was similar to how I did before. So I can unlock it now and move it. So yeah, you can literally create terrain and play around with it as you go. Now it is going to be a feature of Warhol in the future, I believe. Obviously, it's not my program, so no promises here. Uh, for you to create different types of terrain, so different fields, um, different sizes, I imagine, different designs, etc. But that will very much come with time. Um, so, yeah, and you can pretty much do what you like with the terrain once you are creating it. You can have as much or as little. It means you're not, you're not restricted by only using those within the quick start. Although, as I say, the quick start is pretty awesome at randomly giving you a map to use. Uh, going back to this terrain, I'm just going to have a little look to see uh, if there's any other features in there. Uh, you can reset and get rid of all your terrain, which is great. Um, you know, it's a clean start. Great. Um, so you can use that if you just want to clear all the terrain. Uh, you could also use it to lock the terrain. So let's uh, let's uh, generate a frontline clash and lock. And now, um, I believe, but I won't be able to move this terrain. No, I can't. I have to use that button to unlock it again. Yeah, so there are multiple ways to do certain things in Warhol. I think that's pretty much it for the uh, Create Terrain feature. Now, this is one that um, I got a bit of a bonus with, with the magic, in that you can actually use Create, the Create subfolder, to create uh, magic cards as well. Now, as it happened, my in this tutorial, I randomly got assigned these pyromancy spells automatically which is really cool um, and new recruit knew to do that but you can also create things like uh, tokens for example you've seen me use these as flux cards uh, veil tokens rather i should say and they always spawn at wherever you're looking at wherever your center screen is um, you can spawn all flux cards this is how you do it 
simple as that. Um, you know, these are sorts of things that you've probably seen myself and Lucky Sixes already do in Warhol. And it is literally a case of just going into create and um, and and creating the the tokens, the the cards that you want. So blessings for the empire. You got totems for beast herds, runes for the dwarven holds, orders for empire. You can literally create as many as you like. Um, and yeah, the way the way of getting all eight flux cards is to spawn all of them. Or if you've lost one and deleted one by accident, etc. You know, you can also do. Uh, uh, one to eight individually. Uh, interestingly, yeah, there's all these are all new. Warhol is constantly updating, and that's that's really awesome. Um, so yeah, you, you've got all sorts of things going on here. Uh, orders, um, and it looks like these are extra features. So yeah, these are the uh, hereditary spells that you can get as well, which is nice. Yeah, wicked. Um, and yeah, it's just a matter of playing around with them and trying to find the law that you want. The um, path that you want. So the colours are relatively self-explanatory, I guess. Um, and basically, every card is in the game. Uh, I just want to look at cosmology. Actually, because one of the things that I uh, I actually suggested not so long ago was um, whether we could have the chaos and cosmos card in cosmology. Hasn't been done yet, but look out for it because it probably will be in the future. Anywho, so that's creating magic. Um, you've also got an option to create tokens, and there are multiple different types of tokens that you can create of all different colours. I imagine that token menu is only going to be expanded upon as Warhol grows as well, which is awesome. Um, there's also ruler, um, self self explanatory really. You use a ruler to measure things. Um, what you'll also have noticed in in as a relatively new feature in Warhol is that if you um, if you click on a unit, for example, this bombardier unit. And then hover over another unit. Um, now um, it actually tells you how close they are to one another, closest to closest point. So 15.6 inches. So you don't actually really need this ruler at all, which is nice. And how far I'm away from the ruler. Um, for some reason that isn't closest to closest, but uh, that's closest to center. But I guess that's because it's a ruler and not actually a unit. Um, there you go. Yeah, and um, that is the create menu, really. It's um, ever so simple and ever so handy to be able to literally create whatever you need. And as can be evidenced in just in this tutorial, what I've been finding as I've been clicking, it's growing with every new version of Warhol. Warhol is updating every day. The developers are making it better for us all, and it can honestly only get better. So I will go back to my previous advice point, which is, if you need any help with Warhol or you just want to figure out what stuff does, just start clicking. Just start clicking and you will find out how to do things. It is really quite cool how easy it is to come to learn. And I assure you, you really cannot go far wrong. So there you go. I'll end this tutorial for the create um, section of this uh, series. Uh, and uh, go and have some fun creating your army lists of new recruit and adding units to them, etc. Have fun guys, see you for the next one.